Hi everybody, it's Sam at Mix Up Craft. Thank you for watching the tutorial today. I'm going to show you how to make this really simple but classic Christmas card. I think it just really looks very, very professional, very clean and it's quick to make as well. So if you are having to do maybe batch making of Christmas cards, this is certainly a style that I think would work well. So this is using the Amy Design Christmas Wishes collection and this is the Holly Wreath. Um, it's beautiful. The detail, which you'll see in a minute when I cut it, is just so lovely. Now, sometimes when people receive these, I get questions about, you know, when they get dyed sometimes, and then they just put them in their stash and they, they don't use them. Um, I think we've, we've all done that. But I think if you cut the dye, depending on what it is, you probably can't do it with everything, but if you cut the dye in the colours that it's kind of meant to be, in this instance, this is a wreath dye, so I've cut it in green. Most of the work is done for you. The dye will do the work. Then all you need to do is maybe add bits to it. Because sometimes I think you, you know, people, they dye cut it on white and they think, oh, I've got to colour this in. I'm not very good at colouring and I don't know what colours to use. Just use your cardstock. So I've just die cut that in simple, what I call Christmas green, really nice rich green colour. And then I've added the berries to it, which is just from some of my um, little diamantes. And then I've added that bow and, and that's it. It really is simple, but it looks like a lot of time has gone into that. And also I've layered a white piece of cardstock um, or matted it onto my card base. And that again, just gives a quite a luxurious feel to the card. It's not bad sometimes just to add a few bits and that's it. The focus is this wreath die and it's beautiful. So all you need for this card, now you can do this on any size card that you want. I'm sticking with six by six. I do love a six by six card. And I think because this is a circle, so it's just, you know, it's just equal all the way around, it suits a nice equal side card, okay? So let's get it die cut, just so you can see exactly what it is here. So I've got, this is this lovely, what I call classic green color. Um, but what you can also do, again, um, you know, today's tutorial is more about um, the speed, I guess, so getting quick Christmas cards done. But if you have, you know, got a lot more time to spend, then I would say die cut this in a few colours. Die cut it in green as your base colour, then die cut it in a brown. So then you can cut out separately all of those little leaves here and you can attach the brown leaves onto this as well. And then you could also then... Um, uh, do some other like another darker brown and you could do more twigs a different green so you can really kind of bring it together and I will be using this a lot more so there will be some other tutorials to inspire you as well okay so let's run this one through and just see and again I mean I've got my trusty big shot here any good branded dye machine will cut this like butter. Um, it just cuts straight away. I always like to just roll mine through twice and then I've kind of got my um, plates back in their position that I like them. So I'm just gonna lift it all up onto that plate. Move that away. Okay. And you can see it just comes off in one piece perfectly, all right? And then if you get a few little bits that are in here, they've all cut through perfectly, but because it's so detailed, they sometimes do just still stick in there. I'm just going through there with my pokey tool. And you can use those brushes just to brush out any pieces, but um, there's hardly any in it. So put those two out there, there we go. And look at that, look at all that detail really really nice and I love this circle in the middle here with the dots around it as well kind of frames your message so yeah big hit this one and I think a wreath die is a very good die to have so if again if you're starting out crafting you may be just taking up card making this year this is your first Christmas I would definitely say a wreath die um, a Christmas tree a wreath a um, obviously Santa your, your classics really because they're the ones that I think you're going to go to I'll do that later um, a lot and um, they don't date either you know they are timeless so each year you can bring it out um, and uh, use it again okay so there is this one let's pop that out of the way there so I've got my six by six card then I've die cut another white piece of cardstock to mat on top and that is five and three quarters by five and three quarters squared 
and that is going to sit on top like so. I know you can't really see it, but in order for people to see it, and again, to give that kind of luxury shop brought feel, which I'm just gonna pop some foam adhesive on the backs, just to lift it up, and it just creates that little bit of shadow, um, which, you know, and that tiny bit of dimension just really kind of helps bring the card together. Okay, so I've just pop those ones on the back. Also, if you don't have any of the um, little red Domontes that I said about, the little um, flat back pearls, you can also use Nouveau Drops and you could also use a hole punch and some red card. And just with your hole punch, just go along and just punch out um, lots of little red circles and use those. So there's lots of ways, again, if you're starting off, you don't have all the tools, plenty of ways to still make lovely cards with other bits and pieces. So I'm just going to sit that in the center. You should have a nice quarter inch border on all four sides. And you can see now how that's lifted, even though it's white on white, even in the camera, you can see that that's, you know, really nice. Okay, so that's that piece. Next, I'm going to stick this one down. Hobby Base have done an adhesives um, kit, so you can find all of that on their website. And um, there's lots and lots of good adhesives there as well. Okay some reason that is blocked so I'm gonna to have to have a look at that in a minute okay there's no real kind of doesn't matter which way this goes but I'm just gonna stick that one down in the center there okay then other little tips to just kind of create um, a more finished card something with a bit more depth to it rather than just sticking that down and then just sticking that say flat on top I've die cut um, so my message, I've just chosen a message, something that was going to fit within the kind of dots of the die here. And then I've die cut a very similar sized circle to go underneath. Now, you can very, very faintly see it, but just that tiny little bit of detail is just other ways to kind of help, like I said, finish your card. So things like that just really help it. And you can see it there, just, and you'll be able to pick it up in the pictures and stuff that I post. But it does, it just just these little kind of details. So what I'm gonna do is stick this one down first. That one's going flat. And then I'm gonna be putting some um, adhesive on the white one to stick on top. So that one sits perfectly in there. Okay, so I'm just popping some foam on the backs of those, or that one. And then make sure you've got your card opening up the right way. In fact, I might change this one to a top folding card because it's a square it's equal sides the wreath doesn't really matter which way it goes so I'm thinking now I may turn it so I've got a top folding one so now I'm going to pop this one right over the top make sure it's nice lined up like so now I've got my ribbon I've already done that one off camera because it takes me a while to do ribbons especially this tiny fiddly one now whenever I'm using ribbons I always use hot glue there are lots of you know good glues out there as well but I just find hot glue is simple easy and quick and when you're applying things like this you need the smallest amount so I'm literally tiny tiny bead okay but when you're working with fabric it's much much easier to use the hot glue and then that one can just sit perfectly at the bottom okay so that's all the decoration done and even like that it looks really nice but now I want to just finish it off with those little flat back pearls and I like to use whenever generally in design you always work in odd numbers so whenever I'm adding berries I always put three of them down and if anything this is the I'd say the the timely part but just below each of the kind of holly leaves um, just with my pokey tool here I'm just pulling off and just sitting three of them together. Now I won't sit here and make you watch me put all these on. It doesn't take long. I'd say it takes, you know, five minutes just to kind of go around. And I'm going to move that one down a bit actually because it's a little bit closer. I'm going to pop that one here. Let's start on this one here actually. Yeah, so I'm going to go and get them done just so you don't have to, like I said, painfully watch me do it. There you go guys, how lovely is that? So I've got one that is a top folding card, they're beautiful and these are, 
I'd say really easy to get um, consistent as well. I think sometimes when we make lots of the same Christmas card, if we're maybe using something that's got a, an image that we've coloured or something, it can be quite hard to get them all exact. Whereas something like this, I mean, look, they both look completely identical apart from this one is a side folding and this one here is a top folding. But both ways, I think they look really nice and these will definitely be being sent out to um, friends and family this year. So there we have it. So I hope you've enjoyed this first of my Christmas cards. There's plenty more to come and I'll be back again next week. Thanks for watching. Bye.